Hello, welcome to another series of our accounting yard covering go seek where you are trying to derive gross salary when you know a net pay. Now, this is a situation whereby at times you hear people talk about that oh, I have if I earn 250,000 net, what will my monthly gross salary be? Or uh, I earn 400,000 net, what will my gross, gross salary be? This particular video is about to correct or explain how this could be derived. Now, the first thing you need to know is that you need the help of what we call the Go Seek Future in Excel, and you need the working temp salary template. Right. So, in the next sheet, we have a simple salary schedule that's our gross salary, basic housing and transport, other allowances, how much pension will be deducted, relief and other things. So we could derive our tax payable for the month, PE for the month, right? NHF deduction, pension deduction, total deduction, our net pay. If the person's gross salary is 600, so the person's net pay will be 467. Now, given this, how can we solve this problem? So let's say, for example, we want OO is saying that what will his net gross salary be if his net pay is now 550? All right. Now we need to go to under the data ribbon, under the what if analysis, and we choose go seek. Now go seek has now said set cell. Set cell is a cell we need to change or that we know the answer for. So in a particular scenario, the answer we know is 550,000, 550,000 for OO, right? So that's the cell we'll set. We say that the salary should be 550. Now, what we want to know, right, is his gross salary. Now, his gross salary is here. That's what we want to derive. Now, take note. The gross salary or the cell we are changing must not be a formula, meaning that it must be strictly a number. Otherwise, go seek will give an error. So now, going back to just watching the screen, and we click OK, see what happens. So for someone to get a net salary of 550,000, the person's gross salary must be 710,784 naira. Go back now. We'll see the person's what net is 550. Let's take another example 450. Take note. Can you see here? Look at the formula bar, it's not linked to any formula. The moment it's linked to a formula, it would not work. So let's try another example 356. Let's assume he wants his net pay is 600,000, right? So we go again. Data, what if analysis goes in here, yeah, six hundred onto three by changing his gross salary. He wants to know what his gross salary will be. We've done all that, so we just need to do nice click, okay, and Excel derives it for us. So for a person any six hundred, his gross salary will be seven seventy eight. Now take note. This is on the basis that first, our pension is computed based on basic housing and transport. In some other businesses, your basic housing and transport may be computed on your gross salary. Another thing now is that this is also dependent on how your basic housing and transport makes up your gross salary. So in this particular scenario, basic salary is about 50% of our gross, housing is about 25% of our gross. Transport is about 15% and other allowance about 10%. For some other businesses, that may differ. So, but the approach on how to derive the answer remains the same. But depending on how you spread your gross salary along the basic emolument, will determine what a person's net pay would be based on the gross. Right. I hope we've added value today to you. Um, keep watching this YouTube channel and we hope to don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you.